it's Rose and I'm here with another diamond painting unbagging so this diamond painting is the second of two diamond paintings that were sent to me for review by GBFKE and I'll put those letters and the address for the page up on the screen right here uh, so that you can go and check out their stock and the link to this particular diamond painting will be down in the description below this diamond painting. So I opened the first one of these which was um, a peacock, two peacocks with flowers and it was, um, it was a fairly large diamond painting. It was long uh, and narrow and uh, I opened that on July 22nd and just posted the post completion review for it I think on the weekend. Um, so this is the second diamond painting that they sent me. This one is another peacock and I call this one uh, blue peacock and white flowers. Now um, just so you know GBFKE contacted me in early July about uh, doing an unboxing for them and um, so on July 6th was the day that we you know sort of settled on the diamond paintings that they would send me they said they'd send two um, and they shipped them out on Wednesday July 15th and they arrived at my home on Monday July 21st so that was really only four days shipping from you know including the day that they sent it and the day that I received it. Um, so I don't know, like this is, I believe, a company that is based in China, but, and the diamond painting itself, uh, as you see here, is made in China, but um, they did send it Canada Post, so I'm thinking they might have a warehouse in Canada. That I'm not sure of yet. Uh, so here are the drills. Now there, you guys know that I like super, super bright, colorful diamond paintings. This diamond painting doesn't have the bright, you know, reds and pinks and blues and so forth, yellows, oranges. Um, there's the kit for it. So a single placer, one bag, two bags, and some wax and a green tray. Um, so this one doesn't have the brilliant colors that I normally go for and if you check out the um, the peacocks with uh, flowers that I posted on the weekend from GBFKE the post completion video uh, that has a lot more of the colors that I would normally get however I saw somebody uh, post an un like a post like post a oh my goodness this is huge okay I'm gonna have to turn this I'm gonna have to lift it way up and I'm gonna have to put this way out so you see all the junk on my table and stuff but uh, this way at least you'll get the entire picture and um, yeah there we go okay um, this is really big and that's what I wanted. I wanted something really big because the picture that I saw posted of this diamond painting completed on Reddit some months ago um, just blew my socks off. It looked like it was three-dimensional uh, because of the shading around the flowers. And so for that reason, even though it doesn't have the bright colors I liked, I just thought it was going to be spectacular. And so I'm hoping that this is going to be spectacular. I like the way it looks just to start off with. I like the, the shading that I see in the um, flowers. Uh, that looks to me like it, it is going to get that sense of uh, three-dimensionality. So that's great. And I mean, it flattened out instantly without me having to do anything else. Now this is advertised as 50 by 95 centimeters. Let us just quickly measure it. Oop, got a knot in my measuring tape. So let's just measure this and see if in fact that's what it is. 
Okay, so 50 is the size of the canvas. The diamond painting itself, I'm sorry if my head's in the way, uh, is 44.7, so 45 centimeters. Um, let me just see, 45 by, I bet you it's gonna be about 85, um, or 80, let's see. It doesn't work so well if you step on the uh, measuring tape. So it's long. Okay, so this is 89 and a half. So I'm going to say that that is uh, 45 by 90. Okay, and I'm just going to put my sticker on there. Now it is a round. And uh, this one. Um, I'm just going to put my inventory sticker on it. It's got 20 colors, which is what was advertised on the website. So for something this big, I know some people will say 20 colors isn't enough, but I'm going to say I'm going to reserve judgment on that until I diamond, until I complete this thing, or at least, you know, I'll start it, um, maybe today I'll start it, and, uh, and just, you know, I'm not going to finish this because I've got other diamond paintings on the go, um, I'm not going to finish it right away, but I'll start it, and I'll try and get, you know, maybe this much of it done, so that we can get a sense of what that top flower looks like, and, um, and just see whether I get the effect that I'm hoping I'm going to get. Uh, I've actually had this diamond painting in my cart in a bunch of different stores thinking I'm going to buy this and so when I had the opportunity to select a diamond painting um, to do a review for GBFKE I thought what the heck they offer it so I'll get it from them and, uh, and I'm glad I did because this really does look really nice. Okay so let's take a look at the legend. And for that, I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to bring you way, way down. All right. So uh, just taking a look at the symbols here, they're all letters. And do I see anything that might be confusing? There's E and F. There's F. I'll show you. I'll show you the um, the drill area in just a moment. But uh, let's just see if I can find an E and an F close together. Yeah. Okay. So down here, um, F and E, right side by side. That's not confusing. I would not even need a um, light pad with this. Uh, I didn't use a light pad for the other one that they sent me either. And one of the things that I absolutely love about the diamond paintings from GBFKE, oh, I put the wrong one on here. Uh, one of the things that I absolutely love about the diamond paintings from GBFKE is that they do not have guide circles. I absolutely hate guide circles because um, you have to place diamonds on them perfectly or else you're able to see the, the circle uh, on around the edges of your diamond and so you don't get the right effect. Uh, because these don't have guide circles, even if your diamond is placed just a little bit crooked, you're not going to have a problem. As long as it's covering the, num the, the symbol, you're not going to have a problem uh, with anything like that. So um, what else do we have here? We have a C, we have an O, we have a G. So here again, we've got uh, C's and G's next to each other. Those are not confusing. I can see them very well, even with my eyes, with no glasses on. And... Um, and, and I'm further away from it than I would be if I were actually diamond painting. And so even, you know, just plain with my eyes, no, di no, uh, no glasses, uh, 
it's it's super clear okay so everything on this is super super clear um, let's take a look at some of the rest of the drill area very very clear I don't think that this is going to give me any confusion I think it's going to look really really nice At least I hope it will I just have to move this a little bit to get the scan up towards the head of the peacock and the crown of feathers okay I think this will be fine now would it be better if there were more colors? Yeah, of course it would. But that's not something I'm overly concerned about. All right. So let's take a look now at the drills for this diamond painting. And there's a lot of... I'm going to zoom out for a second. There are a lot of drills for this. <laughs> lots and lots. Okay, I'm going to move this over a little bit. Bring this down here. Um, yeah, that's, that's a lot of drills. Okay. Uh, and I think, yeah, I'll definitely have to kick this up because it's, um, I, I don't want to be working out of the bags for something this large. So I'll, I'll kit it up probably. Yeah, this is big. Yeah, I'll use one of my Tic Tac, um, container kits to to kit this up. All right. So uh, one of the things about GBFKE that I wish was different was I do wish that they would include the DMC identifier for their drills. They don't do that. It's not the worst thing in the world. So, you know, like it's not a deal killer or anything like that. Uh, but it does mean that uh, depending on how um, particular you are, uh, you will need to match up the colors to a DMC chart if you want to identify them by DMC yourself. Um, and I am that particular, so I will be doing that. So uh, I'm going to put the flash on, even though... Oh, and the diamonds that I had from the other kit of the peacocks and flowers, they were almost perfect. There was almost no trash at all in that kit. And there were tons of extra drills, so I'm not worried about running out of drills. And um, I'm just going to uh, flip these over so that we can take a, a moment to look at the quality of the drills as we go along. So we've got two packs of number one, which looks to be like black, 310. And then we've got two packs of number two which is a gray and then four packs of number three which is another shade of gray oh my goodness there's so many so many drills oh my god okay uh number four we only have one package but it's full number five we have two packages and again these drills look at them they're so perfect wow like very very excellent quality drills um number six uh how many i have one two three four bags of number six And then number seven, there's just a very few of those, maybe 200 or so. Number seven. Number eight, just one bag of those. Number nine, just one bag of those. Number 10, uh, I have five bags of number 10. So two on this ribbon, and three of them on this ribbon. 
and they're very full. <laughs> my goodness. Like there's, oh my goodness. There's a lot in these. There's so many in these. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, number 11 is this lighter blue. Number 12, I have three big bags. And that would be like an 823 kind of color. I'm not sure if it is 823. I mean, I'd have to match it up, but it's that navy blue. And these ones have little divots in the bottom, but those divots don't cause me any problem whatsoever. I don't mind that. They stick really well. Um, I don't see any cup drills. So... And the other thing about the diamonds that I get that I got on the first kit from GBFKE is that they are sparkly like crazy. And then number 13, just one bag of those, and that's this lighter blue. And again, the drills look really, really good. They do have those little divots, but that's okay. That's not going to be a problem at all, at all, at all. Oh my goodness. Number 14. This is, I'm not sure if that's a 550, but, or, or a 792 or something like that, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous purple. Three bags, and uh, they are flat, or they have little divots in them. But again, they look pretty much perfect, so I'm uh, not concerned about that. There we go, and then we go on to 15, and this looks like it might be a 939, maybe, I don't know, I'll have to match it up. I have three bags of number 15. So again, the drills are either flat, as you see here, or they have the little tiny divots in them, but they look fine otherwise, I don't see any problem with these drills. And, you know, when you, you take a look at the facets on them, they're very sparkly. Yeah, yeah, very good. And uh, here's the second bag of them. And here's the third bag of them. Okay. Oh! No. There's the third. Okay, there's the third bag. And then we have number 16, uh, which... I don't even know what color that is, but it's a sort of a, a purpley blue, purple gray blue, um, and again, the drills are either perfectly flat or they have just the slightest divots in them, so no problem whatsoever. Very nice. And. Uh, Okay, so then we have 17 here, which is just a shade lighter than the 16. It looks, looks about a shade lighter. And again, they're very, very good quality. Same comments about those drills as all the others. Number 18, I have uh, just a few hundred of them. How many is that? That might be maybe 300 drills here. And what do we see? We see... Either perfect, oh, those look perfect. I think I did see one that might have had a divot. Oh, just a mild divot there. Uh, these are perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Uh, and then 19 is sort of what I call a dove gray. One bag of those. And again, the drills look really good. They look like they'll be sparkly. Very good. Okay. And finally, we have number 20. Look at this blue. It's a beautiful color and those drills are perfect. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So this is going to, I think it's going to look really nice. And uh, I'm going to get started on it now. I wasn't actually going to work on this for a few weeks, but now I really want to start working on it. <laughs> because I'm very curious to see. So maybe, uh, so that I can, because I'd like to post this video this week. Today is August 3rd, Monday, August 3rd. And uh, I, I do want to post this video this week. 
Um, and so I don't want to commit to doing too, too much of this to put in as sort of a work in progress so that you can see how it's looking. Uh, so maybe what I'll do is just this area here with the flower. Um, because if I don't get a good three-dimensional look from that, then I'm, I will be disappointed with this because that's why I've been wanting to get this diamond painting. I think it's going to look good, but we'll see together. For you, it'll be in just a few minutes. For me, it'll probably be a day or maybe two. Okay, so um, I'm going to put a little transition in here. And then you'll be uh, looking at the work in progress after I've been drilling it. So before I actually start drilling this thing, I wanted to show you the kitting up that I did. So I use Tic Tac containers and I just find it easier to work out of this cat food um, case than I do working out of the box that the Tic Tac containers come in. Um, I've got them in order according to symbol, so they'll be easy to find. And um, yeah, I'm ready to go. Okay, you guys, so I'm shooting this um, at around 10, 10 p.m. on August uh, 5th. Um, <clears throat> and I just want to show you what I've done so far. Uh, now I started this, I don't know three days ago, something like that. And, um, and I've done just, I guess it's the first 10 inches or so. Let me measure. Okay, so it's the first 29 centimeters, which is 11 and a half inches. And this is exactly, exactly the effect that I was looking for. Those flowers look like they're coming right off the canvas. Uh, there's only 20 colors here, but the depth effect is phenomenal. So I love this. I'm so, so happy with it. Uh, so far, I think I've had like three drills that were not perfect. Um, other than that, the drills are perfect. Uh, they're all the same size. Uh, I'm using a three-placer and they fit perfectly in the three-placer. Like I have no problem whatsoever. Um, this is exactly what I was hoping for when I ordered this diamond painting. And um, so, yeah, if you like this, look at that. It looks like the flowers are three-dimensional. They're not. Look, they're flat. But you pull back. And they look three-dimensional yeah oh yes I like that okay so I'm gonna set this aside now I'm gonna work on um, one of my other uh, diamond paintings that are in my uh, in my queue to work on that I did coin picks for and I'll come back to this later but I just wanted to show you progress so far and um, to let you know that this diamond painting is all that and a bag of chips. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be back with you again very soon with another diamond painting video. Thanks to GBFKE for sending me this diamond painting for review. Thanks to all my viewers, all my subscribers and a great big humongous thank you to my patrons. Take care, everybody. Mm -hmm.